me briefly to introduce myself. My name is Tomislav Todorovic, I'm 23 years old uh, and I'm coming from Serbia. At the very beginning, I have to emphasize that I'm honored and privileged today to have this opportunity to speak on the behalf of MLF uh, Student Generation 2013-2014 here in Hamburg, who actually elected me for this speech in a very democratic way. <laughs> <laughs> However, last year I uh, graduated from the Faculty of Law back in my home country, and uh, from that moment, or let's just say a little bit before that moment, I actively started exploring possibilities for my further academic and professional development. As a result, I found uh, MLA program, which has completely met my career plans and interests. So the first question here would be why? Or what distinguishes MLA program from all other LLM programs in the world? Uh, mainly, we have to be aware of the fact that uh, we live in a time where borders between law and economics become less and less visible each day. Uh, frequent interaction between the world companies created a completely new market for, for economists and lawyers, uh, where economists are trying to understand how all those formal, scary legal rules could actually help them to maximize their profits, and uh, uh, how to uh, organize their business and do business within legal frame, framework. Uh, on the other hand, uh, lawyers are trying to learn how to cope with maths, which it sounds like easy, but it's not, for some <laughs> speaking, uh, how to think more efficiently from the economic point of view and uh, how to avoid all those situations where usually after two hours of negotiations in, let's say, one M&A transaction, again, I'm personally speaking, uh, where usually some of economists say, okay, lawyers out of the room, we have to do a business. So, uh, so having all of this in mind, I chose uh, particularly uh, this program, which has certainly showed the capacity and suitability to deal with the newest challenges in that border area between law and economics. Once more, considering that I was elected in a very democratic way, uh, I, it's my pleasure, but also it's my duty, to mention that all of my colleagues, or big majority of them, actually found motivation to join MLA program in the pretty much same fact that I've just mentioned. At this place, it would be appropriate to say that Hamburg Group of MLA students consists right now uh, of 22 students from near 16 different countries, I think. And uh, this fact, uh, my dear colleagues, proves that our hard work and our commitment brought us here together and uh, that these values have always been the universal rule in creating long life connections among the people. Also, it proves that this program has wide capacity and readiness to answer on the questions of the students from different legal and economical systems. On the other hand, it provides great opportunity for students to become more familiar with different legal and economical institutes, learn something new about them, or perhaps borrow and implement some of them into their national system. We have examples of implementation and importance of these issues uh, in countries in transition, which is also uh, my country. And uh, for me, as a future non-European lawyer in a one non-European country which directed its policy towards European Union, it's importantly, enormously important to gain knowledge about European Union law, about EU directives, or about different EU trade agreements. Uh, at the end, uh, considering that I'm speaking as a student today, I have to mention uh, um, that, that there is one more fact which continuously motivates students from all over uh, the world to join EMLA program. Uh, namely, uh, every one of us has motivation to see sites of three different countries, to become familiar with their cultures, to try food of three different countries, uh, and perhaps at the end to try different, three different kinds of beer. So it's a brand of many countries. So once more, uh, I'm grateful for given opportunity to gain piece of the great knowledge and impressive uh, culture of this country and all other countries involved in this program. And I hope that in the future, EMLA will continue to be a leading master program in law and economics and continue showing how much students from all over the world actually believe in educational institutions of European Union. Thank you.
Thank you all for your attention.